Hey guys, today we're going to take a deep dive into the game of AFL and the kind of effects that it has on the players during training and games. So during an AFL game, players will run anywhere between 9 and 20 kilometres, which is incredible. If you think of the kind of impact that has on the foot, the bones, the ligaments and the joints in the whole body, it's huge. And not only running, but the sport also involves a huge amount of sprinting, kicking and jumping, which also are very taxing on the body. So if we actually look at the figures produced by the AFL, the number one injury in 2018 sustained by AFL players was plantar fascia ruptures. And looking at that, it had a rate of 67%, which is huge. So how can we help protect our young AFL players and even people who are just um, playing generally or enjoying the sport, how can we keep them safer during the during the season so that they don't sustain a lot of these high-risk injuries to the feet and the rest of the body? So here are our top four tips. So number one, and it's, it's quite a common thing with all sports, but we have to make sure our muscles are stretched and lengthened correctly. So warming up and cooling down is extremely important. The longer and leaner our muscles are, the less risk we have of injury. So it's really important making sure the hamstrings, particularly and the calf muscles are stretched um, effectively. Um, particularly with any jumping and kicking sports, the hamstrings can get super tight um, and also the calf muscles. Second tip, it is also extremely important to make sure the boots fit correctly. Now, as a podiatrist, we see often um, the damages caused by ill-fitting boots. So often, especially in um, sports like football and AFL, the boots can be purchased too small. So please make sure you have at least a thumb space between um, the, the end of the boot and that there's adequate room in there for the toes to move so they're not scrunched up and not excess pressure placed on a lot of the, um, the joints in the foot, especially if the toes are crunched up. It actually causes the arch to um, sustain a lot more pressure, which can increase the risk of plantar fasciitis. So just making sure they fit correctly. And if anyone needs any support, um, our SingSole Everyday insoles fit really well inside the AFL boots. Um, even the kids ones, the SingSole kids also fit extremely well inside. Just offering a little bit of extra support through that arch area and making sure um, the, the body is well aligned, which is also really important. Number three, see a podiatrist. Um, I can't um, stress how important it is to make sure you get a lot of, um, particularly if you're playing sport, just get checked to make sure your boots are right, um, the stretch or the regime that you're doing is right, um, and make sure you take care of any tight muscles early on because it's really important to prevent um, injuries from happening. So by going to see a podiatrist, they can help address any tight muscle issues, give you a stretching regime or help you with some um, soft tissue work. So sometimes that in might involve doing um, some laser work or some massage or trigger point release on those tight muscles and that's also really important and fourth but also not final um, and I say that because there's so many more things you can do to help prevent injuries but these are just the top four um, so the fourth one is if you have any injuries or any pain please stop what you're doing and go get it checked um, a lot of evidence shows that most injuries are felt or sorry the tension is felt before the injury actually occurs so it's really important to make sure you stop what you're doing if you feel any pain. Go visit your podiatrist or your physiotherapist and get it checked. Make sure you're taking the precautions to actually reduce in injury in the AFL game. Um, I hope you found those tips useful. And if you want any more information, head online to sixbody.com to read our latest blog.